I'm right, guys. I am so tired. It's six o'clock in the morning. Um, I have been waking up way earlier than normal lately, which is a good thing. We like that, but I'm just exhausted. So I'm gonna go get a start on my morning routine. We're just gonna do a vlog. I'm gonna take you through my hair care routine. I've really been wanting to tell you guys what I've been using lately. I've literally switched everything up, so I wanted to show you guys and like talk to you about it. I'm currently filming a week of workouts for you guys. It's going good. It's just a lot of work. I just like to rinse my face with cold water. I just feel like it wakes me up, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna get ready, go to the gym. As we all know by now, ice rolling is a huge part of my morning routine. It just feels so good, like nothing compares. I'm getting derma planning done Friday, so I'm excited for that. I feel like this past like, two weeks, I've been on autopilot just with literally everything. I don't know, I don't know what it has to do with exams obviously it has to do with exams like i just want to get them done but i do have my last one tomorrow i'm so excited i feel like i've just been like in overdrive mode and i've just been like working 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 so hard trying to produce 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 and it's definitely catching up to me a little bit i'm gonna try to just like take a step back today i feel like sometimes i just forget how to take care of myself forget what i need and i forget that my health is important so i really just want to make an effort to get myself what i need i'm just going to use the Bolly body gradual face tan i actually really like this stuff it doesn't break me out but i only use it like once or twice a week just because i find that if i'm really consistent with it which i was when i first got it it did kind of break me out it just kind of started to clog my pores a little but i find if i only use it like once or twice a week i'm good Soon I will not. Hint, hint. I am so excited to share my hair care routine with you guys. Like, beyond stoked. My hair and scalp has just changed so much within these past couple of weeks. Last thing I'm gonna put is oil in my hair. I don't know how to pronounce this. Gazelle. Gazelle. Honey infused hair oil. I don't know. It's just from Sephora. Normally what I'll do is I'll wake up, I'll try to get out of bed at like 6.10 and do my skincare, hair care, make my green juice, and then I like to just chill for like an hour and wake up, go on social media, like genuinely that's what I like to do, and then I'll get my day started, go to the gym and whatnot. I just booked my flight to Florida, so I have that trip in less than six weeks away which is absolutely crazy because my friend is getting married which i am just so stoked for i haven't left the country a lot so this is gonna be really fun for me i'm so excited to go see florida i'm very nervous i'm gonna fall in love with it though anyways so yeah i'm gonna go shopping today i need a few things for that i really need to find a dress for the wedding sam is also coming with me which is gonna be fun i am gonna try to make an effort to vlog more i'm still trying to learn and get used to it but it's gonna happen My fit, my bra is from Vitality. My shorts are Alphaly. My kicks are Nike Metcons 5. And then my bag is from Lululemon. Gym bag is Gymshark. This sweater that I will be wearing is Lululemon as well. I just said this on my Instagram story, but I was saying how I feel so much more productive in just like eager and willing to go and get stuff done whenever it's sunny and nice and warm out you know i just want to be outside i want to be in the sunshine i want to be driving in my car but when it's gross and ugly out 
<laughs> would rather sit in my apartment depressed. Anyways, we're gonna go get this leg workout and carry on with the vlog. I just finished my glutes and hamstrings leg day. It was okay. The gym was like fairly busy today. It was really hard to record for you guys, but it's fine. We got it done. That's all that matters. I'm running to the mall now. I just, I'm on the hunt for a few things. So I'm gonna see if I can find what I'm looking for and then go home, fuel my body. I haven't eaten a single thing today, which is not good. Normally I always eat before the gym, but I didn't have time this morning. I really just wanted to like get my shit together and get to the gym. So anyways, I genuinely can't believe I found these. I have been wanting a pair of Tebas for so long and every single time I would go to buy them, they'd be sold out. But I went to the store today and they had them in stock. So super excited about those. I'll try them on. And then I just got a couple tops. This is just a cute little orange halter and then just a plain white tee because I don't have any. So like, okay, I'm sorry, but how cute are these? Are we, are we serious right now? Like, are, are we serious? These are so cute. Oh my goodness. Just enjoying your time. You guys, Zeus loves it outside, especially when it's sunny out. Absolutely loves it. Hmm? You can just sit out here all day. I just made like this breakfast hash. So it's like potatoes, veggies, a little bit of turkey bacon, and I just put some ketchup on top. And then I also have my kombucha. It is so nice today, you guys. I am here for it. I don't know why you always look lopsided to me, but whatever. Okay, so I got two packages in the mail. We're gonna open them together. Okay, what is this? Swear. I'm like having a really hard time reading her handwriting, but I'm pretty sure this is the dry shampoo, if I can actually recall now that I'm remembering. Save time and save water. On average, conventional shower head spray two to five gallons of water per minute. It's estimated that by using our showerless shampoo that you can cut down on traditional hair washing by at least twice a week. If a normal shampoo takes you three minutes, let's be honest, it's probably more. You are saving a minimum of six gallons of water each week. That's 312 gallons per year. Holy shit. Um, anyways, and they are proudly vegan and cruelty free. So that is amazing. And this is their showerless shampoo and it came in a really cute environment friendly bag. Try to not sit in the shower for longer than 10 minutes. If I can take under a 10 minute shower, even a seven minute shower, I'm super happy. I would rather just like turn the shower off and like sit there and shave and be cold. Like I don't care. So yeah, I do really try to be mindful of like my shower times. I also only wash my hair twice a week. And obviously when I wash my hair, it takes me upwards of 10 minutes. If I'm gonna do a conditioner, I'll literally turn the shower off and shave and all that good stuff. And then next, I think this is the swimwear. Excited. Guys, I'm gonna just say right now, the brands that I've really been trying to support and lean more towards are brands that are environmentally friendly and sustainable. I can just like appreciate so much when a brand goes out of their way and takes one step further to making sure that they are being more sustainable and helping our environment. So this bag is 100% composable, which is Amazing, we love that. And there's a cute little message before I open. It says, let's break it down. I've made out plant material like corn and more corn. Oh my God, that's cool. In the compost, I'll disappear in six months. And if you don't think that's impressive, ask a plastic bag how long it takes. Y'all, I'm pretty sure it takes years on years on years for a plastic bag to decompose. So does it even decompose? Like, I don't even think it does. So exciting, I don't know how many they sent but this is from Waves and the Wild. And first of all, I'm pretty sure they're a Canadian company. Second of all, I can just really get down to some printed bikinis, so. You guys, are we serious right now? Okay, so these are freaking adorable. Oh my God, okay, yep. Yep, I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. We have this beautiful yellow with red roses on it. Oh my gosh, okay, here for this. And then we have these colorful bottoms, we're cute. And then the matching triangle top. And then we also have a blue with daisies on it, which I am obsessed with. So I'm gonna try these on for you. Okay, so this is bikini number one, super cute. I am literally obsessed. I freaking love these bottoms because you can either make them more narrow so you can show more skin or you can make them 
a little wider if you want a little more full coverage. And the same with the back. You can make them wider, or if you want to show less skin, you can make it more narrow. I am quite literally obsessed. I think I found my new favorite swim line. So this is the second bikini. I am absolutely obsessed with it. Like, I think it's the color that I'm obsessed with. You can adjust the front and the back again if you'd like more coverage or if you'd like to show a little more skin. Okay, and then this is the final bikini. It's yellow. I actually really like it. I'm digging the roses on it. Like, you guys, I'm obsessed. Again, all of them, you can adjust the top and the bottom, front and back. All right, y'all. I'm officially done school. I am free bird. I'm done. I'm done university. I, I'm graduating. This is crazy to me. I actually like can't even put into words right now. I truly can't. I just got back from brunch with my friend. I'm gonna go get my nails done. She got me these beautiful flowers. I'm sorry, how freaking beautiful are these? I had to put them into two mason jars because I didn't have a big enough vase for them. So that's just what we're working with. But anyways, I'm gonna go do my nails. I'll show you guys what I end up getting done. And then we're gonna talk hair care later on today. And yeah, I think that'll be a wrap. It is another beautiful day, which I'm so thankful for. I ended up taking a rest day from the gym today. I was gonna go, and then after Ken and I were done our exam, we're like, let's just go get brunch right now. So we did that, we had a good time. Normally Fridays I take my rest days, so tomorrow I think I'll just go to the gym instead. And yeah! Hello everyone, it is quite a few days later. Actually, I think it's like, four or five days later. I was sitting down to edit this vlog this weekend and I noticed that the footage of the hair care portion got deleted, which really sucks because I worked really hard on it and I was trying to like show you my shower routine. Um, so instead, I'm just gonna do a little sit down product talk with you. I'm not gonna lie, life has kind of just switched gears a little on me lately. So yeah. There's gonna be a lot of change. Um, and yeah, for now, I I don't know when I'll open up to you guys about it, but I do know that I want to. It's just personal and it's not, you know, just me involved in this situation. There are other variables and other people and um, a lot of factors involved. So anyways, I wanted to just share some products that I use for my hair care routine because my hair has just gone from like zero to 100 in literally a month. I've just really been trying to take extra good care of it. Health wise, it is just, it's feeling so good. She's real shiny. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys some of the products that I've been using so you can implement it into your routine, especially if you're trying to grow your hair. Okay, so starting with, I'm kind of just gonna go in order here. Everything from my pre-wash treatment, from my shower routine, to what I do afterwards, to how often I color and cut my hair, all of that good stuff. First things first, there's hair on it, but I do use a bristle brush. I stopped using like really harsh, combs and brushes, I wanna say like five or six months ago, and this has made the biggest difference in my hair. I know there's the wet brush, I have it. I have a very sensitive scalp and I tend to shed a lot too. So with this, it's just extremely gentle and it doesn't pull, it doesn't tug, it just like seamlessly moves through your hair. I just got it off Amazon, I believe, for like $14. So yeah, I would recommend one of these. Um, I personally love it. I think it was like one of the best decisions I ever made was switching to a bristle brush. So yes, amazing. Let's start with our pre-wash treatments. I recently picked up the salicylic acid exfoliating scalp treatment from the Inky List. I really like this stuff. It basically exfoliates your scalp and gets rid of all the dirt, impurities, dry flakes, all of that good stuff. I don't have dandruff, but I do get a very dry scalp. It's like very, very, very small flakes. 
dandruff is like thicker and bigger and for the longest time I thought it was dandruff I asked my hairdresser about it and she said it wasn't and I even asked my dermatologist about it and she said that it wasn't either so yeah I just get a very dry scalp and it's just very sensitive to the winter months so whenever it gets really cold here my skin gets really dry and my scalp gets really dry and irritated and itchy so yeah I use this two to three times per week I only wash my hair two to three times per week normally only twice but sometimes I will wash it a third time if I'm going somewhere or if I have a really really sweaty workout or if I do a lot of cardio or if it's really hot out or you get what I'm saying you get the gist so I will leave that on my hair for about 30 minutes it says you only have to leave it in for 10 but I'll leave it in for like 30 and while it's in my hair I will also put in a deep conditioning mask so i really like the kevin murphy hydrate me mask this one's amazing i also recently got another one it's it's in my bathroom i'll put a picture up i find that it is a little thick for my hair i don't have the thickest hair in the world but i do have a lot of it but i really like it because it just like adds some extra moisture to my hair the other one that i've recently got in i've only tried it one time and it left my hair feeling pretty good so i think i'll continue to use that and i usually do that every single time before I wash my hair. So I'll put in a deep conditioning treatment along with a exfoliant for my scalp and then I'll go along with my washing. So once I get into the shower, I recently got these bad boys. I think I was actually, I made a YouTube video about it, but I got the Therapist Evo Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. My hairdresser uses these and let me just say, these are the best products I have ever purchased in my entire life. They were a little expensive, I will say, but they last you so long. It's already been, I wanna say like three months since I've gotten these and they're not even half gone yet. I was also told that with shampoo, the harder it is to lather. Apparently that means it's a really good quality shampoo. This one's extremely hard to lather. Sometimes I feel like I have to put more in my hair because it's like not lathering. It is vegan, cruelty-free, made without sulfates, parabens, or gluten. So that is a plus. And with my shampoo, I recently started doing this. I saw it on TikTok. I have been adding rosemary oil to my shampoo. And what I'll do is I'll just add a few drops in. Then I will lather it all together in my hands, break down the molecules, and then I will work it into my hair. And then after it's on my scalp, I don't put it on my ends. I'll just take this scalp massage thing. I just got it off Amazon. It feels really good. <laughs> and I will literally just work it in my scalp and massage it. So after I shampoo, I use a conditioner. If, oh, actually back up, I should probably say sometimes at least every, I wanna say once every two to three weeks, I will use a detox shampoo and I will add the rosemary oil as well. So this is just the way detox shampoo. I freaking love this stuff. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, like the best smelling shampoo ever. It smells so good. And I just find that it gets rid of all the like built up gunk and products product in my hair and this is the only shampoo that I will bring further down. I won't put it on my ends but I will bring it down to like mid length. After we'll move into conditioner and again I just use the Evo. Amazing. I'll usually leave conditioner in my hair for about five to ten minutes. I'll just turn off the shower. I'll do my little shaving routine. Once I get out of the shower I try to use something really soft like a t-shirt or really soft gentle hair turban. I got this microfiber one from Amazon I believe. I've had it for years after my hair is somewhat dry i want to say like 80 percent dry i'll brush it and i will use the inky list hyaluronic acid hydrating treatment and they say to only use this once to twice per week for an oil i like to use the gazao i don't really know how to say this correctly gazao honey infused hair oil I'll just use this bad boy and that's basically all I do. If I want to use like a hair protectant, which I don't normally use heat on my hair, I'll use the Chi Silk Confusion hair protectant. I've just used that one for so long. I think I've literally used that one for like 10 years now. I would say I only really use heat on my hair like a few times a month like i really don't use heat on my hair guys i don't know why i just i can't find the time for it that's probably why i'm getting rid of this mop tomorrow i know some of us might be surprised i just don't have the patience and the time and i do love my long hair but 
I just feel like with short hair, I could manage it better and like I'll want to style it because A, it won't take me as much time and B, I really need to change you guys, like really. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I close out the vlog when I'm talking about my Kindle. So I will move on to that. But thank you guys for watching this portion of the video. I hope that you guys found this kind of useful. I know that we all have different hair types and whatnot, but these have honestly really worked for me. And if you are stuck on hair products and you want to try something new, I give these all like 110% rating. Like, this is not sponsored also, by the way. This is just like my true and honest opinion. I purchased these all myself. I also did just want to say before I move on to the last clip of this video, I did film a week of workouts. It obviously didn't go really as planned because there's two days missing. I'm trying to figure out if I should just film those two days this week if I'm feeling up for it or what. I do want to get it up for you guys. I did spend a lot of time filming it. So I don't know when it will be live. I, I know a week of workouts has been really requested. So I'll try to get it up for you. I just have two more days that I have to film, but I probably just won't cue you as much through it. Yeah, let's move on to the next part of the vlog. Okay, I realized I forgot to show you guys my nails. So this is what they look like. Before I close out this vlog, I may have caved and got a Kindle. There were a lot of factors as to why I decided to make this executive decision. Main reason being is I have no more space to put any more books and that's a fact. Like I am already really low on space as it is. I couldn't keep buying books just to have nowhere to put them. And yeah, if I had lived in a bigger house and I had a bookshelf, 1000% but as of right now I don't have a bookshelf. I also just started seeing tons of TikToks. They're so good for traveling. Not to mention it literally looks like paper. I got the paper white. It's amazing. It's fantastic. If you are on the fence, I would look up some YouTube reviews. I also did make a TikTok about it and in the TikTok I kind of explained like what it looks like, how it looks like paper. I also think it's nice it connects directly to your Goodreads. So many people are like this is so funny that you're so excited about your Kindle because I've had one for years and I'm like yeah I didn't know that I could do all this stuff but you can change the font. It's backlit so if your partner's sleeping at night and you want to read and you don't want to have the lamp on it's backlit. You can change the tones of the light which is so nice. There's no blue light so it's not damaging to your eyes. It's not going to keep you up all night and it doesn't like strain your eyeballs either and you get books instantaneously so like why why not there's also a way to get free books as well which i will be looking into but honestly i think it was a pretty good purchase it was only like 120 dollars. why not you know what i mean so so far i'm very happy with my purchase that's not to say i won't buy physical books but i'm also trying to be more sustainable and if that means buying less books using less paper whatever i can do to contribute and do my part to saving our beautiful earth because it is very much dying. I will do what I can. I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. It really supports my channel. If you like these kinds of vlogs, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you want to see because I like hearing your suggestions. I like hearing your feedback. I want to know what you want to watch or else there's just like really no point. So yeah, have a lovely rest of your day or night or good sleep or workout or whenever you're watching this. I hope that the rest of your day evening goes super well. And yeah, I will talk to you soon.